and then he flew away with his cape. Like Superman. Yeah, like Superman. Like Miss Cece's shirt. I like your shirt. Oh, thank you. Hey. Your new assistant teacher's coming in today in probably about ten minutes. Oh, okay. Okay, now I want everyone to do a little bit of silent reading. Why don't we pick a book, and we're all going to sit and relax a little bit right before nap time. Hello! Hi, you guys! It's so nice to meet you all! Oh, uh, no, kids, just stay reading for a second. Um, we just got them situated for, like, a relax right before naps. No sense! None of that! Everybody get up! Let's dance! Miss Susanna likes a dance party! Oh, you're so sweet. I, no, um, but really, we should do nap time. We have nap time coming up in just a few minutes. Oh, no! Get over here, kiddos. I've got candy for everyone. Candy! Guys, it's... One for you. Yum. One for you. Yum. Your teacher likes to keep tight reins. You're going to have to loosen them. We're sharing this classroom now. Oh, it's not that I have tight reins. It's just we kind of keep to a schedule. Because if we get thrown off a schedule, everything's out of sorts. Oh, schedule, schedule. Okay, guys, so I'm Miss Susanna. You can call me Miss Susie, Miss Suze, Miss S. And what, and what was your name again? I, I didn't quite catch it. I actually hadn't had the chance to introduce myself yet. I'm Miss Cece. Cece got it. Luck like a vault. Okay, guys. So Miss Susanna is here to bring in some color to the classroom. A little bit of fun. We're gonna we're gonna brighten it up. I mean, you're you're a daycare teacher. You're wearing black. What's that about? It's a Superman shirt. Oh, is that what that is? I, I've never heard of it. Okay, so what I'd like to do, I think it'd be really fun if we could just maybe throw the ball around a little bit. We can all get to know each other a little bit better. Tell me where you're from, what your favorite things are. Ooh, that sounds like a really fun after nap time activity when we go out to the playground. Oh, we couldn't hurt to play inside for 10 minutes. Uh, well, we are late for nap time, so it would put us even more behind schedule. Oh, Miss Cece and her schedules. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't want to mix things up too much on the first day, so why don't we all go down for a nap? Whoa, 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 what are you doing? I'm just taking down this board. Yeah, I see that. Why? These old boards just won't do. I've got new ones in the car. They aren't old. I just updated them, and besides the fact, I mean, shouldn't we talk about things like this before we just go changing the classroom? Oh, it's just a silly old board. It's no big deal. I thought we were sharing this classroom. Well, yeah, but perfect, then share the classroom. Okay, you know, it's okay. It's not a big deal. It's just the poster board, like you said. You go ahead and take over it. Um, it's just in the future, if you could just please run things past me before you make changes to the classroom. Do. I just, I didn't realize I had to run things past you, seeing as we are sharing this classroom, and I am, I'm experienced and been doing this a lot longer than you have. While I appreciate your experience, um, you did sign up for the assistant teacher job, and so I'm the head teacher. Oh, okay, I get it. I got it now. I don't mean that in like a... Oh, no, no! You just let me know what I'm allowed to do, and I will move it for you, boss. Okay, I really didn't mean it in an offensive way. It's just that I don't really think the classroom needs to be rearranged. There are a lot of other things that need to get done today. I just fail to see how anything could be more important than this atrocious decor, but I digress. What would you like me to do? Okay, so the books need to be cleaned up from reading time, and I need to do the reports still, and I would like to try to get the afternoon arts activity set up as well. I'll handle the reports. Actually, I'm gonna I'll go ahead and do those. Maybe in the future you can help me with them, but since it's your first day, I mean, you don't know the kids' names or anything, so. I have been doing this for 25 years, and I can figure it out. Look, I love the ambition, but I'm going to take care of them for the day. Maybe in the future, like I said, you can do them. It's just the parents really read those, and I don't, I can't have any mistakes made. Mistakes. I'm a perfectionist. Okay, but I'll have it your way. I will go clean up those books. Okay, thank you. I am going to step outside really quick to go to the bathroom before the kids start waking up. Okay, and I will be cleaning up books. Debbie, can I please talk to you? What do you need? Oh, I can't work with her. She came in the classroom shaking rattles and then insisted on giving the candy right before nap time. Finally got the kids down for nap time and then she starts ripping things out. Stop. I have too much to do today. I can't deal with this. No, Debbie, I make it work and get out of my office. <sighs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. Why are you doing the reports? You just got done saying how there were so many things we needed to get done today. And these are important. I literally just got done telling you not to do those reports because you don't know enough information about the students to do them. There are two other things that I asked that you could have done. Now dear, this is just a way more acceptable use of my time, I think. 
Well, I don't think so, because now I'm going to have to spend any time I have correcting any mistakes that you made when I could be setting up for the art activity so we're actually prepared when the kids wake up from their nap. And there are still books all over the floor. I don't need to get all into a tizzy. I, like I said, am a perfectionist, and I can guarantee you that there are no mistakes with these reports. You don't, you don't know the kids, so you really don't have a way to actually say that, do you? Can you please go clean up the books? My written schedule this morning, it said that I had lunch around 12.30. It's 12.30 now, so I think I'm gonna go take my break. What happened is schedule schedule. Now that doesn't apply to food. No, just naps. Exactly. Enjoy your break. <sighs> yes, go sit on the reading room with your friends. Be very quiet. Guys, guys, calm down. I know we're running a little behind today, but we're gonna get the art activity done in just a second. I need to go potty. Need to go potty? Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to wait for Miss Susanna to get back from her break, okay? Can you wait or do you need me to get Miss Debbie first? I'll wait. Okay. Oh, good morning. It's so nice to finally meet you guys and you're all awake. We're not doing this right now. We're running behind schedule. We're supposed to be doing an art activity. We're now still setting up for it. I need you to go finish setting up for it while you watch the rest of the kids so I can take Timothy to the bathroom because he's been waiting and you're five minutes past your break time. Oh, I didn't realize, okay. Timothy, let's go. Let's go, buddy. We're gonna be in the next classroom over because this bathroom is a little finicky, so we will be right back. We'll be here. We're going. Where's Miss Susie? And why are you setting up the art activities still? You guys, there's two of you in this classroom. Why are you so behind? Have these reports even been done yet? Miss Susie took Timothy over to the bathroom. We're running a little bit behind schedule, but we're doing good. And yes, those reports are done. Miss Susie just finished them. I expected you guys to be a little bit quicker, but I guess it'll take time. I'll take care of these and put them in the cubby for you guys. That sounds perfect, thank you. The reports are all in the cubbies. Is there anything else you guys need catching up on? No, thanks to you. I mean, we're gonna do the art activity. When she gets back from the bathroom, I guess in a little bit, we're gonna go to recess and that's it. So everything's going good, yeah? Oh yeah, things are going wonderfully. Well, that's good, I'm glad. Timothy, please go sit on the rug. Thank you. I'm glad to see you guys are doing well together. Yeah, we're doing great. Okay, well, I'm just down the hall if you guys need anything. Thank you, dear. Okay, so I don't think we're going to have enough time for the art activity today to fully be able to do it. So we're going to do it tomorrow. Um, and why don't we do a little bit of extra outside time so that way you can do your throwing ball thing. No, dear, that's silly. Let's do the art activity. I just finished setting it all up. Hey, but we don't have enough time today. The whole entire schedule is off balance. What is with you in this schedule? This is a daycare. This is not a five-star academy. This is not college. We do not have scheduled classes. I mean, what's, what's the big harm in doing an art activity right now? The big deal is there isn't enough time. I'd really like to take a look at that, that schedule that you keep referencing to because it doesn't seem like you're allotting enough time in the day for the activities you want to do or, or really managing your time properly at all. The only reason, and I mean the only reason that the schedule didn't work today is because of you. You had the kids go down for a nap 15 minutes later than they should have, which threw everything off balance, and then you went for your break and stayed five minutes later than you were supposed to. You seem to have no concept of time when it comes to anyone else around you, and it really is inconvenient because now a 30-minute art activity we have 15 minutes for, and that 30-minute art activity ideally would need like 45 minutes. I'm supposed to have you here to help me cut the peppers and things like that. I don't even have the peppers cut for the art activity yet because how am I supposed to do that when I'm doing everything else that you're supposed to be helping me with? Peppers? Oh my god. What is going on in here? Well, I just couldn't tell ya. I cannot work with her. Me? Yes. You. Okay, let's not be childish. Okay, you know what? Forget it. Kids, come on guys, let's go line up at the door. We're gonna go outside for recess. God. Well, I just don't know what I could have done to upset her so much. No, I wouldn't sweat it. I don't think she's the biggest fan of change. We have a few people that pick up early, so you can just stay in here and maybe sign them out when they come in and sanitize some toys. Here for Isabel. What the hell? Something the matter, dear? Yes. Where's my daughter? And and who who are you? Oh goodness, I'm Miss Susanna. I'm a new teacher. Me and Miss Cece are gonna be sharing the class, working together. Just I've got 25 years of experience though, so don't worry, I'm not too new. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's great. Where's my daughter? Oh, well, she's outside with the rest of the kids. Miss Cece's out there with them now. But is everything all right? No. It says here that she ate peaches today. Yes, all the kids had peaches today. No, because my daughter's allergic to peaches, highly. So I think if she ate peaches today, we would be in a big situation. So again, where is she? Oh, well, I assure you, Isabelle is just fine. I just saw her just a minute ago. You can assure me she's fine. Her paperwork says that she ate peaches today and she's highly allergic. How can you assure me that she's fine? I have to go look at my daughter. Whoa, is everything okay? 
No, I have to go make sure my daughter's not dying. Her report says that she ate peaches today. Isabel did not have peaches today. I saw her get her tray. Then why is it written here? That's a great question. No, ah, now we go up the stairs and down the slide. Isabel, mommy's here. Come here, love. Oh. How are you feeling? You feeling okay? You're okay? Okay. What's going on? Isabel's highly allergic to peaches, and you, for some reason, wrote in her report today that she ate peaches? No, I didn't. Susanna said that you filled out the reports. Well, Susanna is not telling the truth, because I specifically told her not to do the reports, and she did them while I was trying to speak to you. That's the first thing I noticed, is they weren't in Miss Cece's handwriting. Okay. I actually had every intention on fixing the reports, because I had a feeling that she probably messed them up, because she doesn't know enough about the kids and things like this. I really don't know how they ended up in the cubbies. I put them in there because she had told me that you had gone through them. Okay, I'm going to let you guys figure out what's going on here, um, but in the future, if Miss Cece is the only one that can please handle my daughter's reports because she didn't even really seem to care or have any concern that she could have possibly messed them up. I can assure you nothing like this will happen again, and Miss Cece will be handling all the paperwork from here on out. I'm sorry for all the confusion. See you tomorrow, Isabel. I told you I can't work with her. I'm going to go inside and talk to her. Hey, so earlier when I asked you about the reports, why did you tell me that Miss Cece had done them if you had done them? Well, I never said that. Uh, yes, you did. No, I had said that she had gone over what I had done. Um, she insisted that I do them today. I, I kind of told her that I didn't think I was ready, though. You freaking liar. You see? Don't do that, because she's literally lying to you. She's trying to say all of these things that happened that never even... Let her speak. You were saying... Well, what I was saying is she she really wanted me to do the reports today, even though I told her I didn't feel that I was ready. She kept talking about them and stressing over them and telling them that we had to get them done today. And it was just as of importance, so I, I decided I'd go ahead and help her. Did you take it upon yourself to do them, or did she ask you to do them? She asked me. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, you're saying that I told you to do the reports? Well, in so many words, yes. Please enlighten me as to where the sentence, do not do those reports, I will do those reports, translates in your brain to, I'm going to do those reports and she leaves the room. And then I'm going to tell everyone that she told me to do those reports. Well, I don't think getting upset is real productive. I just thought that really they needed to get done. You kept stressing about how the time wasn't right and we got ourselves off schedule. We didn't do anything. You are the reason we are off schedule. You came in here starting a ruckus when the kids are supposed to go down for a nap. They went down for a nap late. Then you took your break and you took too long on your break. You, you haven't done anything in at all to help me. You're supposed to help me run this classroom smoother and you don't. We, we didn't have enough time for the art activity today. And instead of being on the same page and helping me with that, you argued with me. And then what do you do when I go to take a break for two seconds, you fill out the reports that I specifically told you not to fill out. And of course, you made a mistake because you don't know the kids. Miss Cece, I think you need to go take a break. You know what? You're right. I'm gonna go relieve my floater and then spend the rest of the day with my class. Okay, I'm back. Thank you so much. Okay, you guys. Yeah, I see. Okay, go up the stairs and down the slide. Meanwhile, back inside. She's been so territorial over this class the whole entire time. She doesn't want another person in that classroom. Now, you don't need to cry. She's been asking for help in that classroom for a while now. So I think you guys just need another trial run, a fresh start. See what you guys can do to mend a little bit better. We don't want to get rid of you. We really like you. You got a lot of experience, and I think you'd be great on our team as long as we find a place where you can mesh really well. I appreciate you saying that. I really would like to work here. One thing I think we need to work on is remembering the dynamics, that you did apply for an assistant teacher position and she is the head teacher, so you might not like taking orders from her, but she is in charge. Okay. Why don't you go on out there and see if you can't talk things out together with your class? Oh, okay. Well, Abby, you're doing a great job. All right, class, come here, gather around. All right, gather around, gather around. I want to play a game where we throw the ball around and we say our names and our favorite things. Oh, you've got Come on over here. No need to pout. Miss Suzanne, what's pout? Pouting, dear, is when you walk around all sad because you didn't get your way. Kind of like the way she's doing. You see the face she's making? Miss Cece's smiling. Well, Miss Cece's smiling. Why don't we play the game that you wanted to play? Oh, that would just be wonderful. Great. All right, class. All right, everyone, so here are the rules of the game. <sighs> Something the matter? No, it's fine. I was just trying to adjust the class and you just caught me off a little bit. I hadn't realized you needed to do it. Um, do you know how the game works? Yes, I know how it works. Um, but I don't need to do it. You just had cut me off, so. No, no, no. If you want to do the introduction, don't let me stop you. You need to use your words. Tell her, class, use your words. 
Use your words. Use your words. Use your words. Use your Stop. I don't need to do the introduction. You can go ahead and do it. Are you sure I'm allowed? Okay, maybe this game isn't the best idea. Why don't we run for a little bit more and do some more free time? No, no, no. You guys stay here. We're going to play the ball introduction game. There's five minutes left of recess now, so they're going to go run for the last five minutes. No, we are going to play this game. This class is just as much mine as it is yours, and I, for one, would like to get to know my class. Sorry, you guys. We're going to play the ball game tomorrow. You have five minutes left of recess. Please go run. You see how they listen to me? Look, I don't know what was said between you and Debbie that made you think that you could come back in here and play these stupid little mind games that you continue to play, but I don't want to play. And let me make something abundantly clear. I am the head teacher in this classroom. You are the assistant teacher. So therefore, when I tell my class to do something or ask something of them, they're going to listen because they understand their roles in this classroom, something that you just cannot seem to grasp. Mind games, I... And if you keep going like this, I will make you wish you never started working here. What you just said sounds an awful lot like a threat, and I just, I don't handle being threatened very well, so I think we need to come to a mutual agreement before this ends badly for both of us. Look, take it however you want to take it, just stop with the bullshit, we won't have any problems. Let's go inside class! It's real nice language to use in front of the children. <laughs> you and I both know they didn't hear me. Alright, we all lined up, let's go inside! All right, guys, so, so what else needs to be done before they need to go home? I was just going to tell the class what's going on. Well, shouldn't that be something that you discuss with me before you announce it to the entire class? So for the rest of the day, what we're going to do... So you're just going to act like I'm not even speaking? What are you trying to do right now? I'm trying to come to a mutual agreement. That doesn't even make any sense. So what we're going to do is some independent playing. Well, if we're having a vote, I think we should start the art activity. Yeah! Well, it's a good thing there's not a vote today. We're going to do some independent playing, you guys. Let's do sensory bins on the left. Oh man. You being mad happy over the kids being upset makes you look real weird. Oh, I'm just happy they're going to see your true colors, thanks to me. Oh, my class knows my true colors. That's why they don't throw huge fits when I tell them to do something. The only reason that we're having a little bit of griping going on is because you are setting expectations that are way out of the realm of possibility and getting them excited when they know that that's not really going to happen. They only aren't going to happen because someone's a little controlling. That's great. Why don't you actually serve purpose in this classroom and help me do the things that need to get done? Like the diaper changes. Well, how rich you want me to do the diaper changes. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure there's a much better use of my time. There are only two things that need to be done before the kids leave. The diaper changes and I need to fix the reports that you messed up. And then after the kids leave, we need to disinfect all of the toys. Those reports are just fine. I made one mistake. I think you can go ahead and do the diaper changes. No. You can go ahead and do the diaper changes. Miss Debbie's already instructed me to redo all of the reports. You know what? Fine. I'm not going to argue with you. I'll do the diaper changes. Okay, great. Uh, of course, there's no more reports. I'm going to run to the copy room real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. What the hell are you doing? Well, I'm just doing what you said. No, you aren't. Stop, because you can't have the disinfectant near the kids. Well, clearly it's safe for the kids if we use it on the kids' toys. It's literally a safety hazard. We cannot disinfect the toys around the kids. I asked you to change the diapers. I did. I changed the diapers that needed to be changed. You don't get to pick and choose who gets changed. Everybody who's here needs to be changed. I'm sorry. I'm just not one to waste. I... You know what? Never mind. I don't have time to sit there and go back and forth with you about this. I need to get done what I need to get done so I can get done what you're not doing. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah. Yes, everything is just fine. Okay. Uh, Jordan, come on. Let's go. This cubby's empty. If you give me one second, I can go get it. Um, the report, anyway. We didn't get to the art activity today. I mean, I'm training, so we're just a little bit behind on schedule. Well, let's not point fingers. I've worked in this field as long as you've been alive, so training. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Anyway, like I was saying, why don't I go fill out that report for you? That'd be great. Thank you. Hi, bud. How was your day? Oh, I can assure you, I've been in this field for 25 years, so your kids are in great hands. Yeah, um, we've always had good experiences with Miss Cece, but uh, well, if you like Miss Cece, you're gonna like me even more. She's like the amateur compared to me. <laughs> that's, that's great. Um, I, I for one have worked in schools all across the country, where I feel like little bit over there has just been working and just brought me this daycare. <laughs> really, that's great, but it takes years of experience for someone to learn that level of expertise that I've obtained. Okay, my son, I mean, it surely isn't something that you could just learn in such a short period of time. 
I mean, I know okay, I've been man. working on it forever. Will you shut the hell up already? Excuse me? Seriously, you won't let me get a word in edgewise. I'm trying to tell you that my son is soaking wet over here. Why has his diaper not been changed? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Miss Cece, before you start, stop. Because I'm with these kids alone every single day and their diapers are changed. That's true, I've never picked up Jordan with a dirty diaper. I heard some yelling, is everything okay? Yeah, sorry, I just got a little bit upset. I couldn't communicate and was trying to understand why my son was soaking wet in this diaper still. I'm sorry to hear that. Why was her son's diaper soaking wet? Well, Miss Cece told me. Stop. What did I tell you about letting her speak? You can continue to let her speak, but she's literally just going to lie. Because she's trying to spin it like I'm the reason that the diaper wasn't changed. Why was the diaper not changed? Well, Miss Cece said I was only to handle a few kids, so I figured after I changed a few diapers, I'd better stop, since you told me to follow what she says. And you're laughing because... Because she's lying to your face. Why would I tell her that she could only interact with a few children? That makes no sense. That Who does that serve? I need an assistant teacher who's going to help me with the classroom. If I could tell her she could only interact with a few kids, that just hurts me in the end. Clearly you guys are having some sort of staffing issue, but I don't really want to be a part of it. Is there any way you can point me in the direction of the changing table so I can change my son out of a soaking wet diaper? Perfect! The diapers and wipes are just over there! I can definitely change him for you. You absolutely do not need to change him. This is not your doing or your fault whatsoever. We can take care of it. Okay, well I have to go get Lucy from her room anyway, so I guess I'll just go get her and I'll be right back. Absolutely, go pick her up and I'll have him change as soon as you get back. Again, I'm, I'm really sorry for all of this. It's fine. This is not our typical daycare experience, so I'm gonna go get her. What the hell is going on with the two of you? I tried to tell you that this wasn't working and you didn't listen. I need to go change him before she comes back. Okay, go change him. Are these typical experiences you experience with her? Because I personally have never had these issues being a head teacher. She usually does pretty good by herself. She gets overworked, but uh, not like today. I'm not really sure what's going on. I personally think she's a little controlling, a little power hungry, and doesn't really like having another person in the room, which makes my job very difficult. <laughs> I guess I'm confused because your job is to help her job go easier by helping her with the things that she needs to get done. So I don't really understand how you guys somehow have made it to where you're behind today and you're pointing the finger at her, she's pointing the finger at you. I just really need to get down to what actually happened today. That's no problem. I can go ahead and tell you exactly how it all happened. Oh, that's that's okay. I already got your side of it and her side of it. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take a look at the cameras. They got audio and video recording once this parent situation gets figured out and I have a second to go back to those computers. Recording! Okay, well I just, I wanted to- That's okay, I think I've heard everything I need to hear. Why don't you finish up the last tasks that you have for the day? Come on, Jordan. The rest of the diapers needs to be changed. Great, that sounds like a perfect job for you. For me? Yeah? I'll be in my office. Let me know if there's any other issues. Okay. What the hell? Miss Susanna, can you come on in here? Yes. Why don't you come in and take a seat and shut that door behind you? Okay. Is everything all right? Go ahead and take a seat. Okay, why don't you give me a little bit of a rundown about how today went in your words? Oh, um, well, I came in here with just high expectations of just bringing my utmost and best character into this classroom, which is what I did. I came in the door with my high-powered energy and excitement. Um, I really have a drive and a power. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. You came in the classroom, you were very excited. What happened after that? Uh, oh, um, well, right away, Miss Cece really gave me an energy. She didn't want me there. How? Well, I was very excited, and she immediately made me feel like I was just doing too much. Because... I don't know why. I mean, I, I just assume she doesn't want someone else in the classroom. Okay, you can go. Oh, okay. No, no, I think you misunderstood. You can go as and leave the daycare. Why would I leave the daycare? I don't think this is going to be a good fit. I can't understand why. I don't see how you don't see. Because I just watched the tapes that I just got done telling you I have audio and video recording of. I've given you the chance to come clean and maybe try to explain and be honest with what actually happened here today. And instead of coming in here and being honest, you're trying to pull a wool over my eyes and act as if though I didn't just witness what I just witnessed. So do you want to try again? I wasn't aware that you had seen the cameras. Whether I saw them or not, that makes it okay for you to lie? I don't need someone on my team who's willing to lie to me on the first day. I just don't think I deserve to be let go because I don't mesh well with another teacher. I don't think you're even listening to me. I'm not letting you go because you didn't mesh well with Miss Cece. I'm letting you go because you didn't follow a single bit of direction that she gave you today. I've had a parental complaint about you. You've lied to me. I've never had so many issues with someone on their first day, literally ever. It's true, I might not be the greatest at taking direction. I am used to being a head teacher, so maybe if we have a head teacher position for me. No, Susanna. 
okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'll stop, I'll stop. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Please, just don't let me go. I love this job. I want to keep this job. Please, give me one more chance. Just one more chance. I'll show you that I could be- I know you're upset, but I really can't have you on our team. I mean, this is the first day and we're having this many issues. Just, I don't- Just do anything, please. I really, really need to keep this job. I'm sorry, Susanna. You don't need to keep saying that. I'm sorry. I'll be the best employee. Just give me one more chance. You said it yourself. You need employees. You need me. If I let you back on my team, you'd have to do a full 180, Susanna. 180? Are you kidding? I'll do a full 360. I'll be the best employee you've got to date. All right. I'm going to give you one more chance. And I mean one more. Why don't you go home for today and we'll start fresh tomorrow morning. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. I will not disappoint you. All right. Why don't you head on home? I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Wonderful. You're still in here? Yep. Well, I'm about to close up. What are you doing? I'm finishing restocking for tomorrow and cleaning up the things that didn't get done today. Okay, I just didn't know it takes so long. You guys are really behind today. Um, I'm hoping tomorrow can be better. And I think that you should hear it from me first that I am going to give Susanna another try and let her try again tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna let you finish up. How much longer do you think you're gonna be? Be about 10 more minutes. Alright, well, let's just remember tomorrow's a new day. Let's keep some positive energy and uh, let's be on our best behavior. <laughs> best behavior? I cannot. Good morning, Miss Cece. Good morning, Miss Suzanne. Do you like my shirt? Yeah, it's nice. I went for a more dull purple, more boring, kind of to match your vibe, so we're not looking like angel and devil over here, we just we blend. That's really nice. Can you help set up the diaper change station? Ah, is there a uh, list that I can look at to see like the order of importance things need to get done? Yep, your list is me. Diapers is at the top of your list. I'd like a physical copy. I'll work on that for you, but I can assure you, top of the list, list or no list, is diapers. I mean, the kids aren't even here yet, so... No, but they're gonna start showing up any minute, and it's all the reason to have the diaper changing station set up and ready to go for when the kids are ready to get their diapers changed. This seems a little bit like a closing duties job, but uh, I'll take care of it today. It ideally would be an afternoon closing shift thing, but it's turned into a morning shift thing because I'm only one person and I can only do so much. But if you want to switch it to the afternoon, we can start doing it this afternoon. Diapers will be your responsibility. I don't think it's fair that all of the diapers be my responsibility. I'm not saying all the diapers will be your responsibility. I'm saying restocking the diaper changing table at the end of the day, which you've clearly stated you prefer, is going to be your responsibility. Okay, that will work. Great. So I'm going to go start setting up the activity for when the kids start getting here. Okay, and I will restock the changing table. Okay, perfect. What are you doing? These were all a mess, so I just figured I'd clean them up and organize in here. It was not a mess. I just organized it last night and I spent a long time doing it. You pulled them all back down for what? To reorganize it? That's not what I asked you to do. I asked you to set up the changing table. Okay, I'm gonna need you to watch your tone with me because I am your elder. This was not organized and it needs to be organized before we bring anything over to that changing table because then everything is just going to be very disorganized. Don't tell me to watch my tone. That cabinet that you're messing up right now looked exactly like this one. So I'm not really sure why you're gone and rearranged the entire thing. Oh, honey, I just finished doing that one. You gotta be kidding me. No, you didn't. When you came in here, that one was like that, and so was that one until you've destroyed it. Just let me finish. This one would look just like that one in no time. Okay, good to see you're still the just same old Susanna. I'm gonna go into the classroom now because I'm not gonna let you ruin my day. Just like you're trying to do, but it's not gonna work. I don't know why you'd think I'd be wanting to piss you off. <laughs> Not do it. Not today. Mm -mm. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Um, we actually have a bit of a problem. Oh, what's going on? Well, as you can see, Milo is here and Jackson is not. And that's because Jackson has broken out into an awful rash because one of my cloth diapered twins was sent home yesterday in a disposable diaper. Oh my god, I'm so, so sorry. Is he okay? No, he's not okay. He's miserable and I'm pissed off. My boys have been going here for eight months and never used a poisonous diaper in their life. And now, <laughs> you should know better. 
But we do know. Really not. I mean, I should sue you guys. You put chemicals onto my son's body that he's never ever experienced and now he's going through hell because of it. I am really so sorry that your son is going through it. That was never any of our intentions. Me and my staff are all fully aware that your boys are cloth diaper babies. If you're fully aware, then why was my son placed into a poisonous diaper with the name Luke written on it? We had been training a new teacher and she was the one that changed the diapers, but she had 25 years of experience. I figured that she understood cloth diapering and obviously everything's labeled by name and the child's name. Hold on, you were training her and she changed my child in the same day? Uh, well, she's not being trained. I mean, like I said, she's got 25 years of experience. That is just the first time I've ever heard you defend me. Hi, I'm Miss Susanna. How are you? You're the new teacher? Well, not new. I mean, I've been in this field for over 25 years, as my friend here said. Um, but I am new here, but I'm really loving it. This is a lovely little daycare. I mean, I've worked in some more established buildings for sure, where I've been the head teacher and everything's really flowed. I mean, I've excelled in everything that I have done. I've been top of my class in every class I've ever been in. And I really just, just really have a- Well, you don't seem to excel in diaper changes. I'm sorry. Clearly you can't change a diaper. You put a poisonous diaper on my son. If you're hyping yourself up talking about how you're so, so wonderful, why is it you couldn't figure out that my identical twin sons are both cloth diapered? Excuse me, but I don't believe I was the person who changed either of your sons. Oh, don't even start with that. Well, I wasn't. Yes, you absolutely were. You're lying. So you're dumb and you're a liar. Excuse me? You're dumb and you're a liar. You're too dumb to figure out that my twin boys most likely would probably be both cloth diapered. And you're so much of a liar that you're gonna blame it on your co-teacher? We are not co-teachers. She's an assistant teacher. <laughs> Even worse. We are two co-teachers. The director of the state here has told me so. She specifically told you that you are the assistant teacher and I am the head teacher. That is absolutely not what she said. Debbie! She's not... Hold on, you've got a nut job like that working here and your director isn't even here? Milo, hold on, buddy. We're, we're not staying here. Come on, we're gonna go home. I'm not leaving my son here to just be dealt with like this. Absolutely not. And your director will be hearing from me. I'm so extremely sorry, but I understand where you're coming from. Where's Debbie? Or where's Debbie's phone number? What do you need it for? I need to have a stern conversation. This is not what I signed up for. It's quite literally what you signed up for. You filled out an application for an assistant teacher position. I did not deserve to get the shit out of the stick in every situation. I want to speak to the director immediately. Well, tough. She's not here. Well, I know you have the phone number, so give it to me. No, you can wait until she comes in later. Where did that mother go with that boy? Where did he go? Did he not check in? Where is he? No, they left. She took him home because they think you're crazy. And quite frankly, you're owning up to it. Exactly what I mean. Bad end of the stick every situation. Are you talking bad about me to parents? Where did I say I was talking bad about you? I literally said a parent left and I gave you her reasoning why she left. That was her reasoning. Those were her words. She's a nut job and I'm not leaving my kid here. Wow, that's really nice. I think I want to definitely be having a chat with her. No, you don't. No, I do. I need to validate that what you just said was true. And if it is, I need to understand why she thinks that. She thinks that because you put two of her identical twin sons in two different types of diapers. She's really serious about cloth diapering and you put her son in a disposable diaper with another kid's name on it. And then you tried to blame me for that, which by the way, doesn't even make any sense because you changed the diapers. I absolutely did not change those boys. Okay, let me get this straight. You changed all the other diapers in the classroom except for Jackson and Milo. Well, which one had the cloth diaper on? Milo. Okay, then it's more than likely that I changed Milo, because I told you, I don't make mistakes. I'm a perfectionist. So you just didn't change Jackson, then? No, if you recall, I only changed the children that needed to be changed, and then you took over the rest. So clearly Jackson didn't need to be changed when I changed the children, and Milo did. Okay, Susanna, whatever you say, don't patronize me. If you don't like the way I treat you, then change the way you're acting. I've made it super clear what I need from an assistant teacher, what I expected from you coming into this, and what I need help with in the classroom, and you work against me in every single avenue. I've had two parental complaints about you now, and I just, I don't even know where to go from here. You just want to work against me continuously, even after you've been warned and almost fired. I was not almost fired. Liar. <laughs> Liar. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, class. Why don't we sit on the reading room? Nope. Let's do our usual. Let's sit down at the tables and have a nice breakfast. Controlling. Why don't you go actually set up the changing table so we're prepared? You know, for someone who pretends to be so cheerful, your attitude really sucks. That's okay. My attitude won't suck for long. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I think we'll just wait and see. But uh, if I were you, I'd be worried. Worried? I should be wor- You know- Never mind. I know exactly what you're trying to do. I'm gonna go tend to my class. Oh, that's fine. But when it comes to my break time, I'll be taking off five minutes early. I have something very important to tend to. 
Yeah, love, let me tie your shoe. I'm, I'm sorry, did you say something? <laughs> I said that I was... Okay, so you're gonna make two bunny ears and you're gonna wanna twist them around. Um, excuse me. You're excused. Uh, don't be rude. You know that I was trying to tell you something. Well, as you can see, I'm teaching someone something. Thank you. You're welcome. I was speaking long before you started that with her. Okay, well in my classroom, the kids take priority over everything else. So if you want to continue what you were saying, you can do so now. I was saying that I need to leave five minutes early for my afternoon break because I have something very important I need to tend to. And quite frankly, you shouldn't be teaching her how to tie her shoes. That's something really your parents should be teaching you. Now I know you didn't just address a child. What did you just say to her? Well, I said that I don't think that that's something that a teacher should be teaching her student. I think that that's something that she should have learned at home. Okay, but who are you? You know her enough to address her like that? Well, I am new to this class, so not specifically no, but I do believe that all children should learn those kind of core things at home. Are you always in people's business? Well, I beg your pardon, but this conversation had nothing to do with you, so I'm not really sure where you're coming from with this mind your own business. As a matter of fact, I'm stating my opinion, so I'm not really sure why my opinion bothers you so much. First of all, this conversation has everything to do with me because you're speaking bad on my daughter. Your opinion of my daughter is not only irrelevant, but wrong. I have taught my daughter from the moment that she could walk and put on shoes, how to tie. It is something that she struggles with. And thankfully, we have a kick-ass daycare teacher who's agreed to help me work on it with her while she's in school. So she's getting practice not only at home, but also at school. So you want to try again with something else? Well, no wonder you two get along great. You are just the same. Look, I don't know what the hell your deal is, but you are not someone I want around my daughter. And I'm going to make sure to tell your director that. Yeah, okay. I'm so sorry you have to deal with that. Yeah, hopefully not for much longer. <sighs> Where are you going? My break. Your break's not for another 20 minutes. Yes, but I told you I'm leaving early. You said five minutes, and I never said yes, so break's at noon. I'm leaving. <laughs> I cannot believe that she just said that. Okay, all right, class, let's continue with what we're doing. Yeah, A goes ah, ah, ah. What's up? Where's Susanna? She went on break. Why? It's not time for her break. I just got off the phone with Jackson and Milo's mom and I need to speak to her. With all due respect, I don't really know what you want me to say. I've already told you multiple times that I don't think she's a good fit. I mean, I told her not to leave for her break. She insisted on leaving anyway that she has something very important to do. So I don't, I don't know what you want me to do and this isn't really my job. I'm here to take care of the kids, not run an interference between you two. Don't be dramatic. You're not running interference. When she gets back from her break, please send her to my office. Okay, but so she just doesn't get any punishment for leaving 20 minutes early? I don't need you running interference. I'll decide what happens. You just let me know when she's back. You got it. Okay, everyone's asleep. It's time for my break. She's not back. Come in. Okay, so I haven't even gotten- I didn't know it was you. Why have you not sent her in to see me yet? Because she hasn't come back yet. And I haven't gotten even to take my break yet. It's 30 minutes into it. Too many things to deal with today. I'm sure she'll show up when she does to send her to my office. Okay, but what about my break? Honey, we all have to take him for the team sometime. And I know you're young and you might not know that quite yet, but it's something that you're going to need to learn being in the business working with others. I'm not new here. I mean, I've picked up other people's shifts, I've switched schedules with other people, and I've I've cut my breaks in half multiple times. With warning. Not just because someone was late and inconvenienced and clearly not even getting any reprimands about it. How many times do I have to say, when she gets here, send her to my office? Understood. But is there any way you can watch my class for a second so I can go on a break? No, I'm far too busy for that. You're, you're playing Candy Crush. So sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry that I'm late. Where the hell have you been? I'm so sorry. I just had a lot of business to attend to. Your business is your job, so I'm not really sure why you're coming back so late. I need to speak to you in my office right now. Well, all right. Before you guys go in there, is there any way that I can go on a break? I mean, she is back now, so I'm not really sure why I can't go on a break before you guys do this. You're standing here right now. How are you sitting here complaining to me about a break? You're not with your class, so why don't you go take your break right now? I have Jasmine with her door open so she can see our class because everyone's asleep right now, but they're going to start waking up any minute, and I think I deserve some sort of a break. What did we just talk about? Sacrifices for the team. Someone makes a mistake, you pick up the slack, and then when you make a mistake, she'll pick up the slack for you. No, I mean, I, I'm sorry, but no, I'm not going to sit there and play a team player when she doesn't do anything to help me. Why would I do that? 
She's cut into more than half of my break now, but that doesn't mean the entire thing is gone or should be gone. I'm still entitled to that break. Mm, I don't know who you think you're talking to. Look, Debbie, I'm not trying to cause a problem. Genuinely, I just want to go on my break, and I don't understand why, because she took a long break and left early, mind you, that I don't get to take my break at all. Well, dear, I, I had something very important to tend to. As she said, we take one for the team. You're not a part of the team. Do you have any idea why she's calling you into her office? Jackson and Milo's mom called. Yeah. And guess what the next call that's definitely going to come? The shoes. The mother that you offended over not teaching her daughter something that she's been struggling to try to teach her. What are you talking about? Oh, I guess she hasn't called you yet. Yeah, she offended Danielle's mom because she said that she should be teaching her how to tie her shoes at home. is isn't what I said. Yes, it is exactly what she said. She left here pissed and said that she'd be calling you, didn't she? Great. Well, there goes my day. Danielle's mom is nothing but drama. Don't look at me like that. You know she is. Did pick up on that. Danielle's mom is not the problem here. Clearly it's her. She's the one causing all the issues. At this point, this isn't your concern anymore. Why don't you come in my office and why don't you go back to your classroom? <laughs> okay, you know. <laughs> all right, let's just cut to the chase. What's going on? What do you mean? What I mean, Susanna, is what is going on? This is your second day here. I've had two parental complaints and apparently a third on the way. You've already been warned once that you could be fired and you're... I don't understand. I told you, I'm, I'm just trying my best. I hear what you're saying, but I'm not seeing it. Um, apparently you left the class out of ratio as well. I didn't. I let her know exactly when I was leaving. And she said she didn't tell you yes. Well, I don't think she should be able to tell me no. Maybe in the future I can call you. No, Susanna, I think I'm going to have to let you go. Oh, you, you said you'd give me one more chance. Yes, and it's the next day. Your chance has been given, and we were already having problems today. I don't want any problems. I just want to work here peacefully. I really hear what you're saying, and I understand that you think you have good intentions. It's just what I'm seeing from you is not what you're saying. You guys are short-staffed, so you're telling me that having nobody here would be better than having me. Susanna, if you were doing your job as it was supposed to be done without pissing people off, I think that we wouldn't be having this conversation at all. Things would be going great. But nobody wouldn't be pissing people off. You would. You'd prefer nobody over me. That's not what I'm saying. Obviously, I'd prefer to have another teacher here to help us have things run a little bit smoother. But if that teacher being here is going to inhibit our normal flow from going as it usually does, then I don't, I don't really see the point. So now I have no point. That's not what I'm saying either. I'm saying there's no point in us maybe continuing to try to work this out because it just doesn't seem like it's going to work. It makes it more difficult. Oh, it's difficult? Look, I feel like you're taking one word of what I'm saying and just clinging to that and kind of missing the entire point. I would have liked you to work here. I wanted you to work here. I think your experience would be greatness to our team. However, this does not seem to be working. I have more experience than any single one of the members on your team. I know. That's why I wanted you here. It just doesn't seem to be working. Well, I don't think anyone's given it a chance to work. I've been here, what, two days? I mean, you're already kicking me out? Yes, it's only been two days, but it's been two days of issues constantly. Oh, there's been three problems. Like I said, constant problems. Well, I fail to see how three problems is a constant problem. Three problems is a constant problem when it's only within two days. I beg to differ. And I'm sorry that you do, but they are constant problems for me because I'm going to have the parents calling me and needing to resolve those issues and talk to you about how we're going to fix it. However, we had this conversation yesterday and it doesn't really seem that it got anywhere. Now, how would you know that? It's been one day with another problem. Come on, you said it yourself that that woman was dramatic. Well, no, don't change it around. You did say that. You said that she was dramatic and always causing a problem. And do you really think I'd say something so offensive to a mother? I mean... I've, I've been working in this field for 25 years. Well, I'll have to review the camera. Not only have I been in this field for a very long time as to know better than to do something as I am being accused of, but I also have pretty extensive knowledge in the inspection field and what it goes into requirement-wise for uh, daycare. So I've made a pretty large list of things that are pretty worrisome to do with this daycare. So I'm not sure that I'm someone that you want to quite get rid of. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not following. What What is it that you're trying to say? Well, I'm not saying anything, but I think that you're a smart businesswoman, and I think you know the best strategic move for you. Yeah? And what's that, Susanna? Well, if I'm being honest, I think it goes without saying. No, go ahead and explain it to me. I'm feeling a bit of tension, and I don't mean to have any tension here. I just want you to be aware that your daycare isn't running up to standards. And me being here, I think, would be beneficial because I can help you get it up to standards rather than you kicking me out and then me making it all a problem for you. Uh, Susanna, that sounds a lot like a threat. Kind of like you're blackmailing me. Oh, goodness, are you kidding? Absolutely not. There's no blackmail here. I just want you to be um, aware of your circumstances. 
out of curiosity, what what is what is the issues that you've seen? Well, I won't reveal all my secrets, but I will say um, I've noticed a few cabinets here and there without the proper locks on them. Kids are just able to access the soaps and all kinds of things that really, really shouldn't be in, in their reach. Um, as well as I peek my head in the infant room and I notice you still have those hanging swings, which are absolutely and totally prohibited from daycares in our area. So yeah, I could keep going, but like I said, a magician doesn't reveal her secrets. Like, tell me the look on your face that you're not my biggest fan right now, but that's okay. I'm gonna let all of this information kind of sit with you and digest a little bit, and I'm gonna go back to my classroom. And if you've come to the conclusion that you still want to get rid of me at the end of the day, then uh, you can go ahead and let me know. Okay, well, I'll go back to my job then. Hi, everybody. Oh, you look sad. Your little plan didn't work. I never had any plan. I just wanted an assistant teacher to help me run the classroom. Work as a team. As a team, we will work. Come on, class. Right. I don't mean to be annoying, but Nathan's mat actually always goes over there. Yes, I know, but I did notice that his mom picked him up two days in a row early, so I'm assuming it's a regular thing, and I believe his mat would be easier there for him to leave rather than walking through the sea of students. So is it all right if we keep it here today to just try? Actually, yeah, that's fine. Great. Teamwork makes the dream work. Okay. All right, all the mats are laid down. I think we all agree on everything, right? I mean, yeah, everything's good. Okay, great. Well, what do we need to get done next? What's next on our list? Uh, well, to be honest with you, it's diapers, and then I need to fill out the reports, and I think that's really it, aside from keeping the kids busy. Okay, well, you know I'm not the biggest fan of diapers, but I will do them if you agree to do them this afternoon. Yeah, I guess, I mean, that works. Wonderful. Then I'll begin the diaper changes. Okay, great. This is weird. Hey, I finished the reports, so I'm gonna run them up to Debbie's office real quick. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, I'm almost done with these diaper changes here, but why would you bring the reports to Debbie? Don't you just put them into the copies when they're done? Yeah, usually we do. She just wants them for the next few days to run through her office so she can take a look at them before they go into the copies. She wants to do that herself, I guess. Well, all right then. I'll, I'll be done with these diapers in just a minute. You go ahead. All right, well then I'll be right back. Hey, Debbie, got these reports for you. Give them to me. Here you go. How are things going in there? Yeah, I mean, it's only been a few hours, but she's actually really helping and doing a lot of things to be, like, really helpful for, like, surprisingly. I mean, even, even though it's, it's her job, it's what she's supposed to be doing. It's just shocking to see her actually doing it. All right, that's good. Here, put them in the copies. All right, thank you. Uh, kind of thought you'd be a little bit more excited about her actually doing her job. Why should I get excited about her doing the bare minimum? Yeah, no, nope, you're right. Go ahead and shut the door on your way out. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I figured I'd knock snack time out of the way while you were gone. Everybody's situated. How'd things go? Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, everything's good. I'm gonna go put these reports in the copies. Wonderful. How's it going in here? Um, yeah, it's going just wonderfully. How is it going for you today? I'm doing good. Um, I think since the day is going slow now that Susanna, you can go ahead and go home for the day. For the day? For the day. Okay, well, I don't want to step on any more toes, so I'll leave. I mean, it's close to my leaving time anyway, so I'll go, and I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Why? I'm going to need you to stay late tonight. Why would I need to stay late? We'll talk about it later. Just prepare to stay late for tonight. No. What do you mean, no? I mean, no. I told you last week that I had to leave on time today. It's my mom's birthday. We have a whole surprise party for her. I don't remember you saying a word of that to me, and I do not have anything written down in my office. As far as I know, you're staying late tonight. I'm sorry, Debbie, but I'm not missing my mom's birthday. I mean, why would I even have to be staying late anyway? We have some things around here that need to be really fixed, and I need some help with that. Look, I'm sorry, I can help you tomorrow afternoon, but I cannot help you tonight. No, it has to be done today. That's why I need you to stay late today. I and I'm sorry, but that's not happening today. I have to leave at 6. Uh, if you care about your job, you'll stay. I'm not staying. <laughs> Bye, Josie. Have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, everybody's gone. This should be fun. All right. Why are you putting your bag on? We just had a conversation. Do you not care about your job? I do love my job, and I also went through the proper steps to let you guys know that I'd be leaving on time today. Any other day that you wanted to do something like this, I'd be on board. But today's a different day. I need to be there for my mom's birthday. This speaks volumes to you as, a, as an employee, and I can say it doesn't speak well. 
And I'm sorry to hear that, considering I've worked so hard here, but I have to go. You've got to be kidding me. I don't have time for this today. Good morning. Good morning. Why are there cops outside? They are here for when Susanna arrives. Yeah, I'm lost. She's out of here. Now? I mean, why now? She just started doing her job. Yeah, and she also blackmailed me saying that she'd report everything that's wrong with our daycare, and I've got a recording of her doing so. So, she's out of here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I spent all last night correcting all of the things. You corrected them because she was going to report you? <laughs> well, of course. Okay. Well, what's wrong with you? Nothing. No, clearly it's something. Go ahead, spit it out. So you changed the locks on the cabinets, and you took the swings out that are no longer allowed, but what about the back gate? Not the back gate, but the back fence, and I have someone coming to fix it today. Why are you saying this like it's a bad thing? Because it took someone threatening to report you, literally blackmail, for you to even remotely want to fix things. What about all of the times that I told you that those things were hazards? I mean, the kids were always trying to reach into the cabinets to get the soaps. I was constantly telling them to stop. And the back, the whole back area isn't even safe. I have to literally block it off so they don't go near there. I did not do this because of blackmail. I did this because those repairs need to be made in my daycare. So those repairs didn't need to be made a month ago? I'm not sure who you think you are, because I get things done when I can get them done. Money-wise, whatever the reason may be, it really is none of your concern. So why don't you go check into your classroom and see how things are going, and we will handle the rest of the situation that's going to handle in a little bit. We? <laughs> no, I don't want any part of anything to do with whatever you've got going on. I told you about Susanna when she first started working here. I made it very clear. Now I'm going to go take care of my classroom, because that is my job. The kids don't come for at least another hour or so. If something arises, you are going to be helping me with it then. That is not my job. Respectfully. Good morning. Is everything okay? There's a, there's a cop sitting outside. Cop is just a precautionary thing. Why don't you come into my office? Alright, well may I remind you of our conversation yesterday? Alright, well if we're gonna get right into the jump, then let's get right into the jump. Um, I actually have a recording of you yesterday blackmailing me, which as you know is against the law. Um, so I am gonna have to ask you to make sure everything that you have here is cleaned up and uh, Go about your way. <laughs> yeah, Susanna, I'm, I'm not joking, and I actually really doubled down last night and looked into your references, and I have quite an extensive background for you. Well, I'm not sure what you mean. Susanna, just because you tried to run a home daycare 25 years ago does not mean you have 25 years of experience, especially when that home daycare was shut down for negligence and all sorts of other things. I've called your references that you've given me, and none of them know who you are. So unless you want to cause some sort of big scene here and have the cops involved, I suggest you leave peacefully. Please don't do this. I need this job. No, it is way past that. I need you to leave. Fine, I'll go. I'll go. 